As most of you probably get by now, I'm quite the coffee fanatic. My obsession has led me to some strange places, but nothing as strange as this. I have yet again made another poor financial decision, as per usual, and purchased the world's most expensive coffee, at least that the internet told me. Black Ivory Coffee, or as I like to call it, Elephant shit Coffee. <laughs> You'll see why. I'm the only one who calls it that. This passed through the digestive system of an elephant probably a week ago. I'm not sure, I don't know the elephant's name, I don't know the size, I don't know anything about it. It was $120, so we have 35 grams. Every time I do a shot, one shot, one single shot of espresso, a double shot, that's a little confusing, what I put in this drink. So we're gonna try to make a latte, a $120 latte, and I pretty much have one go. I'm gonna do 20 grams in because that's what I've been set up to do and that's my best bet. They smell extremely fruity, the ass of an elephant. <laughs> Coffee? A little bit of elephant turd in there. Really don't expect them to be $120 worth. But with that being said, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what, at this point, <laughs> just, we did it. $120 down the drain. I'm not rich. I don't know why I was making it seem that way, but I'm not. I made less than $400 on AdSense this month, and I'm proud of that. But if there's anything I am doing, it's going broke spending $120 on elephant coffee when instead I could be investing all my money into NFTs and Web 3.0 and becoming a millionaire like everyone else. But instead I'm stuck here making elephant coffee. I'm going. Okay, 20.1 grams. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little guys and we're gonna bunch them up like so, okay? We're gonna make sure that everything is just the way we need it. An elephant did a lot of work for you to have this here today. All right, Shit. I'm nervous. Okay, if I mess this tamp up, it's gonna be a bad day. It's better be the best damn tamp I've ever done in my life. We're good, I don't know actually. Are we good? Please pull a good shot, please pull a good shot, please pull a good shot. Do not disrupt the elephant turds. All right. Soon I'm gonna recreate Starbucks drinks. You see these over here? I've got hazelnut, French vanilla, caramel, and another vanilla, which I think is the same as the French vanilla one. I'm gonna recreate Starbucks drinks soon. Come on, baby. Okay. Oh, it's pulling quick. We gotta drop this down then. That's fine. 40. 40 grams out of elephant shit water coffee thing. It's pretty gross, actually. I didn't think it was gross until right now. There's a shib shit in there. I'm kidding. Okay, we gotta go. That was the fruitiest shot of espresso I've ever had in my life. And a little bit of elephant digestive system. I can taste a little, do they have small intestines? A little bit of elephant small intestine, but ooh, something just smelled like a turd. That wasn't very good. The Thai people, they do see things, man. There's a weird taste to it that I'm not. That it tastes like elephant turd. <laughs> something in my mouth. The elephant. Digestion latte. Gotta fill it up with just the right amount of milk. Cheers to elephant turds. It's fruity. That's pretty good. Is it $120 good? No, not absolutely not even. You're not gonna have anxiety from that. You like coffee, you just don't like the uh, antsiness. It's really weird to say this, but I actually really enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, get the f up here. Katie likes elephant shit coffee. Jeremy pointed out that they are not berries. It's a dingleberry flavor that I'm getting. If I didn't know what it was, <clears throat> that's one of the better lattes that you've made. Because I know what it is, it's a little. Just make me a regular one, please. <laughs> Bet you there's an elephant. Esque. I'm already like getting all weird. No, you're not getting <laughs> weird. Katie goes. I'm already starting to feel weird. In April of 2021, myself and a woman who shall not be named moved from California all the way to Arizona in this house right here. To say the least, things did not work out. And next thing you know, it was just me as a single dad, my puppy, in this house all alone. That was roughly six months ago. Now over the course of the past six months, a lot has changed. Some would call me an extrovert. <laughs> Everyone would call me an extrovert. It's taken quite a lot of time and self-realization to learn how to hang out with myself. I mean, I am pretty cool, so. I'm not, I'm not that cool. I, I honestly was just saying it to gas myself up. I'm maybe mediocre at best. I'm, I'm kind of cool. I'm all right. I'm fine. Over the past six months, I've done some cooking, some dadding, da daddy, daddying, and even some meditation. I'm, I'm kind of a, a hippie now, I, I guess, or something. <laughs> I've learned a lot of things over the past six months that have led me to exactly this moment right here. I'm now a level 12 superhuman. <laughs> 
I now consider myself a fully evolved level 12 superhuman with an incredible sense of humor and ability to tell stories online. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm working on that part, the story part right now. But as far as everything else goes, it's pretty accurate. I'm going to tell you guys what I've learned over the past six months. And I hope that some of you guys can benefit from it. And maybe some of you guys just don't benefit from it. The first thing I've learned is to not be a boring ass mother and after saying all that in the last clip, I realized nobody cares. If there's really one thing I've learned, it's to focus on my career. And in focusing on my career, I learned to not bore the audience and to not put stupid shit in my videos. So we cut all that out. We scrapped it. It's trashed. Right, it's so home. much smaller than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> Want me to clap or something? I've had some bad ideas in my life. I'll say it. This one is worse. There's a video coming up in the future. If you guys showed this video a lot of love, if you got to this point in the video and now you show it extra love, we will do the video. The video will require me to go in that ski box, roof box, whatever you want to call it, more than I should, multiple times, and kind of in public scenarios. I can't say too much. I also have another idea that's actually dangerous that this is primarily going to be testing for. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do some test phase, some test running. Is it a little illegal? Sure. Are we on private roads? Yes. This looks public but it's not I swear so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in the ski box this is so stupid I all I know is I can fit in there from the thumbnail they're gonna close the ski box lock the ski box Noah's gonna drive me down the road but it's not actually gonna be Noah. it's gonna be a clone of Noah because if Noah was doing it and if it wasn't private roads it'd be illegal I don't know where it originated for people to just act as if they're in another place with different people to avoid getting punished when doing illegal activity but I'm gonna participate in it because uh, I wouldn't do well in jail. I wouldn't do well in jail. As a matter of fact, I'd be someone's bitch. So, we were in Mexico, I, I swear. How did I even get up here last time? Will I even fit in here? I don't even know if I'm gonna fit in here. I'm gonna try to Snapchat on my phone. We're gonna cut to the camera. If Noah hits anything, obviously on this private road, and obviously I was kidding about the Noah because he's not the one driving. This is so stupid. I will probably die. So if I do, subscribe. I'm kidding, that's not funny. I gotta go. Oh my God. Wait, are you in the box? I'm in the box. I'm very nervous. Oh no. Oh no, we're moving. Oh God, we're breaking. I'm sliding. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm very, oh no, oh no. Oh God. Oh, he's going fast. Oh, he's going really fast. We will show you that in the clip, I come right out of this. I sound like a magician right now. You will see here. Let me out, let me out, please let me out. Am I supposed to stay in here and get out? Oh great, we're backing up. I don't I don't know if I hear a car or not, but if I do, that's not very good. Mom, I'm sorry, Maybe he's going really fast. He's going very fast. Okay, I'm claustrophobic. I'm speederphobic. That's a thing, I invented it. I don't want to be in this anymore. I'm pretty scared of this. I thought, if this falls off, by the way. Oh, <sighs> not good. You hit 32 miles an hour. No, I didn't. Did too. Oh, I almost got a cramp in there. If there's one thing we proved here today, it's that the future of this channel is bright. <laughs> sometimes for experiments, you gotta put in a test phase. And I know my mom's not proud of that test phase, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Honestly, there's daredevils out there that probably watched that and were like, that's And you know what, to those people, you know what I say? You're right. 